Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me here today for more live discussions featuring the Fallout franchise, Microsoft, and Xbox. We're going to be playing vanilla Fallout 4 here. And I blew myself up. <laughs> uh, but we're going to be discussing today Xbox and Bethesda's big missed opportunity. And that is releasing a Fallout 3 and a Fallout New Vegas remaster together on the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Switch. I don't understand how this is something... That they knew was coming. They knew that this TV sh uh, show was going to be releasing. I can't imagine that they didn't know that it was going to be a big hit. The show is absolutely fantastic. And... There we go. And I just... I don't understand how someone... After seeing even just a... Just a rough edit of the TV show... And not go, hmm, we should probably have something to launch with the TV show. Now, I know that they have the next-gen quotes, because, I mean, let's be honest, it's the current gen. It's been the current gen for a long time. But the fact that they don't have the next-gen game patch, like, ready on time, this was something that was promised to us over a year ago, and I don't know, I, I honestly can't believe with all of the, like, sales stats that they're showing, right? Fallout 76, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4, and Fallout 3, all those stats are up. They're up on Xbox, they're up on a PlayStation Store, and while... New Vegas and Fallout 3 are available on the Xbox platform with backwards compatibility. I can't, I just can't believe that they blew the opportunity to have those games remastered and to have them on current platforms. It just, it absolutely blows my mind. Brad Stag outfit. What's this look like? This looks like a uh... <laughs> It looks like a I don't know, not 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 a great outfit. Where's the vault suit? Water. That. Hope everybody is having a good Sunday today. Last time streaming, uh, we got we got shut down because of a because of a tornado warning. A little bit sunnier, a little bit nicer out today, though. So, what better time than to sit inside and live stream, right? <laughs> Yeah, dog meat. I get it. I get it. I don't know. Is this the place? Huh? Is he in here, boy? I 
knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. All right, dude. Don't worry, dog meat. Let's try and find our way inside. I am just about out of ammo. Quick save real quick. Yikes. Somebody... Yikes. I don't understand... I don't understand how I'm out of ammo. <laughs> like completely out of ammo gun that took the 556 five, ammo I'd be all right Hey toss anything you can't haul my way All right Nick keep that in mind See if we can't find a door somewhere. Done here. There we go. Found a way in. Sensor oh. detected. Doors chained up on the other end. Hello. The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. Nice. So I'll take that stuff. <laughs> 
Don't know how much of it I really need, but... Is someone present? Movement detected. Oh, that's a synth. That's right, I forgot about them in this. Appears to be nothing. Perhaps my sensors need... <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna die. pistol now we could use that one hey there death trooper i never thought i would say i missed the lock picking but starfield happened <laughs> you know i didn't think that uh i didn't think starfield's lock pick mechanic was too bad it took me a minute to understand like you know how it works but you know it's not like terrible terrible at least i didn't think it was Hope you're having a good Sunday today there, Death Trooper. Uh, no tornadoes today. None today, thanks. Is under Terminating intruder. Not sure how much of the live stream you caught already, but in keeping with the title of the video, Xbox and Bethesda missed a huge opportunity. Essentially, I'm talking about them porting Let me turn this down, it's too loud. I'm essentially talking about them porting Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas to current gen consoles. I understand that they're backwards compatible with this, you know, series consoles. But, uh, I just, I can't believe that they watched that show, the, the, the TV show, and thought, nah, you know what, the free update that we're going to launch on Fallout 4 across all platforms, that's that's enough. That'll be enough. And granted, the sales for the game have skyrocketed. The whole franchise, the entire PS5, like, homepage is Fallout. Like, that's the first thing you see. Um, It's just, I can't believe that they didn't have... A package ready, like forty dollars for both games, or twenty a piece, you know, something like that, and then have it on Switch, have it on the PS Five, have it on like that's. I can't. I just I I can't believe they didn't have that that ready. The show launched on Wednesday or on a Wednesday. They could have easily had the release set up to take place either the Tuesday before or the Tuesday after. You know, when stuff comes out. It's just another, uh, like, don't get me wrong, the show's a great success. The, the, the games right now are going on to sell a lot, as they are. But, man, they could have had so, they, they could have had such a W if, uh, if they would have put those games out. The Fallout 4 should be on Switch at least. Understand that Fallout 3 in New Vegas may be too unstable to port somehow. Or it should be on Switch 100%. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I feel like they could have done it. And it's just, it's wild to me that they didn't. Really is. Way with machines. Yeah, I don't have any. Let's see what I got for aid. Salisbury steak. Intruder in Fort Hagen, eliminating hostile. Where did you go? Oh. Oh. 
move, Nick. Fallout 3, New Vegas on PS3 was awful. Uh, yeah, they weren't great. Xboxes, or not Xboxes, I, I guess it's Xbox Now. But, uh, Bethesda's development on PS3 wasn't wasn't that great was at all. Like it was it was shockingly bad. Yeah, I remember the I remember the big problem with Skyrim that was basically the more you played that game, the slower the frame rate went. Because it with it remembering everything that you did for the entire time that you played, like you couldn't you couldn't drop anything in a world. You couldn't open a door without closing it. Like you had to reset everything back to zero. There was a number that kept ticking up every every single every single time you changed something. And after those changes accumulated up so high, it would yeah, they'd be it, it, the frame rate was was really bad. Hold on a second while I stop and eat some steak. Sugar bombs. Hit, hit it with a rat away. Some potato crisps. At some point, I'm going to go back to, to 3 in New Vegas. I'm going to... Potentially after I play and finish the uh, the update for Fallout 4. All right, let's get up here. You're in for it now. I feel like even on Starfield, that somewhat is a problem as well. I feel like my game is running worse than when it did when it first started. That is a possibility. That, I mean, I would say that could be a possibility. I, I mean, obviously don't know the first thing about game development, but... Calculating most efficient attack. Nick. Nick's in there taking one for the team. Would you give 76 a chance? Uh, I actually played that with my wife. Me and her played on the PS4 because it was a part of PlayStation Plus. And it was okay. That game, though, had so many issues. And I would say together, me and her probably played it for a total together of 20 hours. She played it more than I did. Um, playing that actually just made me want to go back and play Fallout 4 more than anything. But we we had played and just on, like I said, like a very surface level thing. Uh, we were falling through the world. Our characters kept T-posing. There were instances where we would send each other game invites. And um, for some reason, we just couldn't join each other's game. The chat would break constantly. There was also um, there was also this issue where trading items wouldn't work. Where you know you're supposed to be able to, to trade or give give a person an item, and that didn't work as well. Um, she was a big fan of the base building in Fallout Four, so when she saw that you could make a camp, like she you know was super excited, and um, she would spend all this time she would build a camp we would play for a couple of hours at a time and then she would log out and then when she would log back in because she wasn't uh basically because she didn't stay logged in 
her camp got stored in in I'm I'm assuming some kind of memory or database. And then when you would load back in, it would tell you that somebody else settled in where your camp was and they had to move your camp. So essentially every time we would play the game, she would have to spend about an hour setting up the setting up the camp again. And then we would go out and uh, you know, like adventure together. But it was just uh, it was it was not a great time to be honest. Uh, was this recently or at launch? This was, I would say, it's April twenty twenty four. This was probably October or November of last year. I can't remember. It was it was whenever seventy six went into PS Plus. I would have to Google the exact date on it, but yeah, it, it wasn't. It was at least within the last year, and it was yeah the the game was just just buggy. I think she had fun playing it by herself, running around. Oh yeah, and also too, with seventy six, at least our experience, if you were playing together and you wanted to do like you know a story mission, each person had to go into wherever the quest giver was and watch the cutscene or have the conversation for the cutscene. Uh, one at a time. We both couldn't go in and just experience the same. Uh, couldn't experience the same cutscene at the same time. Curious. Something out there. Yes, we're not alone. Which again took took time to do, depending on how big the quest line was. But yeah, Fallout seventy six. It's a shame that that game didn't work the way that it was supposed to or that it has so many problems with it i guess is, is a good is a good way to put it and it, it as buggy and broken as it is it makes me sad that that game currently right now has more players has more players on steam than uh than, than halo <laughs> oh man how do i get in there Let's go back up to the second floor, or to the next floor. How do I get in there? How do I get in there? I didn't have many problems on 76 and tried it on Series X a couple of years ago, though I only did a couple of missions with a buddy he was way higher level than me so he kept on dying okay yeah we we played it all a while i have clips i think still saved somewhere i'm gonna have to uh i'm gonna have to find them and uh put them in a in a, in a video is this thing gonna protect me nope I thought that that thing was going to help me. Guess I was wrong. I don't... Is under institute authority, terminating intruder. I can't open it from this end. Alright, there's got to be a way in there. I don't know what it is. That I'm doing wrong or what I'm missing. Initiate a directive Sigma Omicron. Protect. Bethesda's single player games barely work. It's not a surprise that a multiplayer game wouldn't work. I think that the Fallout 4 MP mod would work better than 76. Probably. I mean I <laughs> you know, that's certainly a uh, certainly a, a chance. In there, though. I 
Oh, I, I guess I didn't choose the right settings. The question is, is how do I get in there? Ooh, a safe. Won't be oh, to it's too difficult. Nothing there either. Man, I am... Flat out of, how did I run out of ammo? That's wild. Telephone, a Braxo cleaner, water. I think they'd have ammo stashed here somewhere. Ooh. Explosives. Yes. I mean, I'll I'll take it. Uh oh. Booby trapped. Aid. Pork and beans. There we go. Come on, Nate. I need. Or, uh, uh oh, I thought the game was about to crash. Not Nate. Come on, Nick. Need your help getting in there, man. Gotta figure out how to get in there. Or another. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh. All right, we're gonna have to take the short pipe pistol, I think. This house always crashes the game on the Xbox. Oh. Well, let's hope it doesn't crash. Remember, Kellogg's a professional. He won't make it easy. What is this, bugged? That's not... That's not what I have equipped. Whoa. Alright. It's a mistake. Some Salisbury steak. Oh. Oh, man. Stim packet. Have more, some more steak. <laughs> Won't be able to hack this. Lame. Right minds to build a place like this. Does it though? I uh, bet you that probably opens up that door there. Right, let's hit it with a quick save just in case we don't need any crashing or anything. Hostile 
Advanced Sensor Reading Detected. My goodness. Let's see if we can fix this real quick. Come on. Why does this... Oh, dear. Hope you still got the cheat terminal handy because later in the story uh, there is a part that many spawn an invisible wall that you can't run past though it's a couple hours away from here. No, I don't have any of the, any of the mods on. This is just a bare vanilla playthrough. We'll be alright though. Right away. Do you still know? Hello? You must die now, human. That's a new bug. Yeah, there's a couple of them. I don't know if it's from any of the mods that I have, but there's a uh... there's a uh, uh, current bug where the smoke texture is uh, is broken. Yeah, actually. Hey. Go ahead. Alright, you can take one, two of those. Take security baton, I'll keep the shock baton. You can keep both of those. Take that, you can take that, 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 that. <laughs> Those piece suit raiders, raiders left arm, left leg. Take both the road leathers. Try putting another gun in the slot, maybe from the memory. I don't know. Smoke texture could be because it's running the Xbox One version because of the FPS boost. That's possible. I haven't thought about that. There you go. Nick, take all that. Let's see. Yeah, let's see if we can't... I mean, I've tried to put another weapon there. All right, so we got that one there. And let's put the short pipe rifle over here. Shock baton can go right there. All right, yeah, that that looks to have looks to have taken care of it for now, anyway. Oop! Don't go that way. Yeah, if it isn't my old friend, the frozen TV dinner. <laughs> Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and.
That's funny. All right. Let's get this unlocked. No. Nope. That's it. Take more of that. Hey there, JT Gamer. Just turned my Series X back on after a year. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, if the Series X isn't your primary gaming spot, then uh, I could see I could see why it could sit there for a while without being used. <laughs> you know, or if just busy for life reasons. Nick is gonna get me killed. Yeah, I got caught up on the Switch exclusives. Oh yeah, that that's a good place to sink your time in, though. It's a shame that uh, you know Bethesda and Xbox didn't have uh, ports of Fallout for the Switch or anything like that, you know, to coincide with the TV show. Sorry, your house has been a wreck for two hundred years. But I don't need a roommate. That's uh. That still blows my mind, man. I would have spent. 40 60 dollars on a on a combo pack for a remastered version of either one of those games or both of them military grade circuit board take that i'm sure it'll come in handy for something yeah i just i it really does just blow my mind i have all three main games on the xbox already okay yeah Sorry, Nick. Didn't mean to shoot you. Yeah. We're running out of help items. Yeah, it's just... I don't know. I, I would have liked to have seen them re-release those as native applications for PS5, PS4, even Xbox One. I know they're all in the backwards back and pat program. But I don't know. It just I I would have liked to have seen them do that. I would have spent money on it. I know people that would have spent money on it. Jeez, man. Not trying to equip that. Am I still playing this on hard? No, it's normal. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Scoped? I'll take a scoped one. I'm now looking at picking up Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remakes. Oh, yeah, definitely. 3 Remake, um, from what I remember, isn't as faithful of a remake like Resident Evil 2 is. Um, still both very great games, though. I would definitely recommend it. Those games will be... Those will be games I stream... A little bit closer to Halloween. All right, now that we've got some. There we go. Those were why I had that like that. Just drop, drop. If you have Game Pass RE3 and 2 Remaker in Game Pass. Okay, nice. I was unaware. This, actually, let's put that one there. 
That'll help out a lot. I want to own them, so I'm ordering them physically from Amazon. I have the option uh, because I have the Series X. Nice, nice. Hey there, and welcome into the stream. Is that Mount Effin? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for joining us here. Yeah, I get that. Want to have the physical copies, 100%. I've actually... I've been kicking around an idea for a video. I'm not 100% sure still. But uh, I was all digital for a very, very long time. And I've recently gotten the disc consoles for PS5. And the I got the Series X last year for Starfield. God. And um, yeah, I, I can certainly say that having having the ability to actually get a physical copy of a game is way better <laughs> way better than having the digital all right nothing in here did i get all these anything at least worth uh, having out of here yeah let's check this uh oh, it's an expert good. No, I'm the oddball for actually using the disk drive. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, like I said, I, I get that. I, it's weird because I had so many games that are on digital and that I've recently decided to try to pick those up physical. And the discs are way, they're way cheaper than, uh, than you would think. Like, I've been spending maybe... 30 or $40 every couple of weeks and getting like six or seven games. It's crazy. Nick is really going to town out there. I'm just trying to pick up some, some supplies here and he's, he's taking one for the team. I don't know if you guys can hear him out there. Oh! Nothing beats actually owning the discs, especially since you can play remakes on HDD. If you own the disc, you don't have the space on the... Yeah. Let's check out this scoped gun. Oh, nice. Looking for used copies. So you can get... Oh, yeah. You could probably, honestly, if you're buying them for the... Uh, for the Xbox One, you could probably find them, find them both for like 20 bucks. If you know where to look. Like 20 bucks total. Although I know Resident Evil 2 remake is at least from what I've seen a little bit more expensive than the uh than than 3 is. Got him. It's like automatic. One you walk away from. Oh yeah, let's pop out this fusion core. That should help me out. Nope, nothing in there. You could try checking a GameStop. I got Scarlet Nexus pre-owned, and it was just five dollars and practically brand new. Nice. One of the the GameStop by my house. It. Sorry, guys. I'm leaning out of frame. They uh. Their their Xbox physical section is very weird. One minute it'll be real tiny, and then the next I'll go in there and they'll actually have stuff. One of the harder games to find. Actually, I have it right off here. Tales of Arise. This costs like twelve bucks, and I know it's way more expensive if you were to like try to download it. And it comes with two discs to install all the stuff off of it, so you don't need to download anything. I think there are a couple of updates for the game, but like I'm pretty sure it's playable all offline if you needed it to be. 
Get ready, though, because you're going to have to sit through large updates soon. For the Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, honestly, I'm really looking forward to it. It's Sunday. The update for the game comes out on Thursday. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be streaming the update, too. In glorious 1080p. Ooh, bobblehead. Nice. Nice. I'll take it. Think we're alone. I really do hope. I really do hope that they release a physical version. Yes. For the game, uh, the the PS5 version and the series version of Fallout 4. I I don't know necessarily if if they will, but I I would totally buy a copy of it. Oh, nice, Nick. Uh, what do we got? Molotov cocktail. Damn it! I caught myself on fire. <laughs> I don't have any stim packs, I don't think. Oh, I do. I didn't think I did. Let's favorite that, shall we? And right away down here. Some purified water. Though the Tales of Arise goes on sale a lot with DLC, yeah. I've lost a lot of my... Oh, sorry, hold on. I'm stuck on something back here. Is that a legendary enemy? We'll be taking that. I've lost a lot of my Xbox friends because I don't do Call of Duty, Battlefield, or GTA. Yeah, those are those are the pretty popular games. It's a shame, but I mean, you know, those those games are always going to be some of the most popular stuff. All I could say is that if you really don't want to have to spend a lot of money, um, those games go in and out of Game Pass quite frequently. So you could at least um, you could at least download them and play them if you know if if you don't want to buy them. But yeah, I, I, I get that. It's it's rough when uh, when your friends don't play the same games that you do. Ooh, got a quantum. Armory password. A lot of my friends quit playing Halo, and I was basically all that was left out of that group. It's the armory. It is the armory. Yeah, open this up. Stay away, huh? Yeah, there's a whole lot of supplies in here. Look at it like this, either pay a hundred something dollars for Game Pass or view my actual money to buy the buy the games, I actually want to play them and have them not disappear on me randomly. Yeah, I, I understand that. Come on. Ah, There we go. Sweet. 
Well, you locked up duct tape and a screwdriver. There we go. Nice. For it now. I don't think I have anything that uses five, five, six. Oh, a fat man. Nice. Fusion cells. Automatic laser pistol. Make sure I get everything out of here. All right, I think we've. I oh, think we've got it. Plenty of security. I gotta check check these weapons real quick. All right, so the fat man. The main reason why I buy Game Pass is to play online games as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh I mean that's a that's a good reason. See, my problem is is I always end up buying the games when they come out before they even go into Game Pass, so then it's like <laughs> I'd really like to see them honestly make them uh like to see them make the multiplayer free. That's just, to me, it just doesn't make sense other than just, you know, charging for, for the money aspect. But the only thing is, is a lot of those games are already, like some of the most played games are already free to play games. So, you know, people aren't paying to, to buy them already or, you know, paying to play them already. So, I don't know. To me, it just doesn't make sense. There we, go. we got beer bottle in the bath. <laughs> okay. I'll just buy core if you need to play online. Yeah. It's not a big jump from the price of gold, so I might as well go to Game Pass, especially since there's the subscription. Oh, yeah. Seals. There we go. Turret control. Deactivate. The only subscription that you pay for. Okay. Don't know why you would put the turret deactivation in a different room than the one that you're uh, stationed in like that. <laughs> I don't know. That, that doesn't seem to make much sense. Sorry for being old school. Actually wanting... No, nah, you don't have to uh, apologize for anything. I 100% understand where you're coming from. That's why I switched from the... Uh, from the digital consoles to the physical versions. I like to be able to own my games as well. Okay. You made it. I'm just up ahead. Yeah, believe me, I'm I'm old enough as it is myself. <laughs> Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and confront this guy. Talk. Oh, nice. Oh, 
Okay. He just wants to talk, huh? So, here we are. Funny, huh? You murdering, kidnapping psychopath. Give me my son. Like, I won't move on Give to the next Sean. Xbox now. if there is no Do version that, huh? with the disk drive. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I kind of feel the same way. Sean. Especially yeah. since all their first-party titles are just gonna be on PC at that point. It's kind of like... But I'm guessing you figured that out by now. But if you're hoping for a happy reunion, ain't gonna happen. Does It Play is a great the website here. for this, though it mainly shows the PS5 versions. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He's also, uh, the account on Twitter is really good, too. Where is he? God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is <laughs> my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far so away. Far away. So shot. far Door. away. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. How do I get there? So where is it, huh? This Institute? How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet. It's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? Are you? Oh, I'm ready. Question is, are you attacking enemies? <laughs> oh, jeez. I haven't saved and... Wait a while, I'm gonna die. Uh, I haven't saved for a while. Oh, I hit with the reload at the last second. Man, I'm a terrible shot. Hey there, Mr. Glass. She said. Instead of worrying about digital, people should make their laws in place to protect digital purchases. Yeah, yeah, they most, most certainly should. The only issue is that people that make these laws are... They're, they're, they're too old. They just, they really just don't under, oh, they, they really just don't understand. I feel like if there were younger people in, uh, you know, decision-making uh, places that, uh, that this probably wouldn't be that big of a, of a thing. They'd be like, well, yeah, of course you should own your things, but... It's a really weird politics thing, you know, people are paid off, and come on, Nick. This is not a good room for a fight. Really is not. Damn it. Instead of taking it down, they wait, what happened? Uh, 
I've been permanently banned twice. Xbox does not absolutely care. They have your money and they give nothing back. The first ban, $6,000, own the DLC, own the game. Oh, your gamer pick. They banned you over that. Yeah, they couldn't... I, I don't know. That's that's wild. I've, <laughs> I've played with a lot of people that have been some of the most, like, vulgar, you know, not... Uh, what sort I'm looking for? That they have they've should have been banned for in-game chat, things like that, and they weren't. So... Yeah, I don't know. I've I've never personally experienced any bans or anything like that. I always have my in-game chat just turned off. I don't talk to people. There he is. No, that's not him. Sean's gone. Jeez, that dude's got a, a, a banger of a weapon. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to have to figure out something here. This dude is just, he's tearing me up. This gun, this gun has got to go. I'm not... I'm not doing myself any favors with this. I should have worn some power armor here, right? Yeah, you see how the like smoke textures like weird and blocky. It's kind of broken a little bit. What time is that almost seven? Let's see what do we got here. Fallout seventy six with a guy you know does anything to? Oh yeah. Oh, jeez. What are you doing, dude? I... Some weird bug going on around here, I think. I don't, I really am having an issue here. I don't know what it is with the controller, maybe. is just 
Jeez. My goodness. All this tech. Yeah, we're taking that bad you boy. Barely human. All right, Kellogg. <laughs> yeah, the Kellogg cereal wasn't bad. Yeah, there's not really anything that a uh, and it, the ISP can do for for the Xbox network. What game should I? I don't. I don't know if I understand your question there, JT. What game should you play first? Um, I would say uh, Halo Three, <laughs> but uh, we've got a we've got a big Halo bias on this channel. Let's see here. What do we got? Head up on the apparel. We got Kellogg's outfit. Not bad. Not bad. I need to put one of my physical games. In, and then you need a test one of the digitals and halo collection is digital um i mean i don't know i guess that all depends on uh all depends on what games you got am i playing on hardcore no this is just the regular difficulty just the regular one I will take Kellogg's pistol, though. Let's see what we can find through here. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get that in a second. I want to... I want to see what we get scavenged through first. Any of these doors open? No, doesn't look like it. All right, I guess there's nothing we can scavenge. Let's go ahead and let's go and where to go? Oh, there it is. Woo! Hardcore is fun f uh, for the first bit, but as you level up, it loses the challenging aspect of it. Okay. Let's open the doors. Uh, I would recommend you check out uh, JT. There's a, I think it's the last actual video that I uploaded instead of live streaming here on the channel, uh, talking about the biggest lie Xbox ever told, and it's the way that discs work on the Xbox platform. So Kellogg wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is on the inside. Even I don't. There has to be a way, Nick. Um. In the weeds here. There are games that you'll get back. the full disc, like uh, Grand on. Theft Auto uh, Five, for ex uh, example, back. right? Diamond City. Hey, chin up. It comes with two discs: the, the installation disc and the play disc. But if you're disconnected from the internet when you go to log in to the to the to the game. It'll pop up, you know, and it'll start to load in. But the minute that it asks you for your profile, if you're not connected to the internet to have your profile, like, log in, then it'll just kick you back to the dashboard and it doesn't work. The way that Xbox uses discs isn't the same as, like, the way, like, a PS5 or a PS4 does. Or, like, how Switch uses cartridges where it'll read it straight from there. I bought um, the Callisto Protocol or the Series X the other day uh, because it was $10 used at the uh, shop I was at. 
and all that had on it was like 700 megabytes and i had to download the entire 48 some gigabyte game I would probably try survival if it had a manual saving. Yeah, that, these difficulties on this. I, I've never really played anything other than just hard. Oh, Access. now we're on the roof. Deactivate. Oh. These are all the stuff that I ran around and shot and blew up. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you should test a game on a Series X version if Persona 5 has it? All games are downloaded, so I actually every game I currently have is installed on either the SSD or the 5 terabyte HDD. Nice. Is that a vert? A vertibird? Oh, jeez. Okay. That's pretty cool. Deep into that darkness peering at me. Long I stood there. Wondering. Fearing. Well, where does this have us going? Back to Diamond City. Alright, hopefully when we get there we can head up the shop, sell some stuff. Yeah, I will eventually. I've only ever, I think, played through Fallout 4 and all of its DLCs, I think maybe twice, and that was, God, in 2016 or 2017. It's dark out, so let's go ahead. Marvelous bone structure. Excuse me. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. Oh, no, I'm good. Yeah, eventually at some point we'll get there. So I have a plan, and since you guys are the ones that are catching me live and seem to be the ones that really would watch with the uh, being live streamed, whether you're watching this either live or on demand. So it's no secret that Xbox is going to be launching games on the PS5. I've made a profile, an Xbox themed profile on that, uh, which is the name of the channel, Xbox icons. Would you guys watch me streaming the, the Microsoft games from the PS5 as a live stream. Remember, I don't serve sense. Supplies are just for here. right. All right, let's I'll barter. Sure, everything you need. Because yeah, once the patch comes out and it updates on, uh, and the patch updates on like the PS5, I'm gonna want to cover you know the PS5 performance as well. All right, we need some right away. Yes. All right, cool. Sylvia Lance Gaming, thank you for joining. All right, all right. Just wanted to run it, run the idea by you guys. I know Sea of Thieves is going to be coming out soon, too, towards the end of the month. That's something that I've played a little bit of on the Xbox One um, on Game Pass, but I'll probably pick it up on the PS5 as well. Wouldn't mind that. Still an Xbox game, and it would stay uh, and would stay the same. You know, with as big as everything for the Xbox is becoming, like game-wise, on, uh, on the store, on the, on the PlayStation... I honestly wouldn't be surprised seeing, hopefully, Halo eventually go on there. That would be something I would definitely stream. Oh, it'd be great. <laughs> 10 millimeter pistol. Millimeter automatic. 
Let's sell that one. Institute pistol, Kellogg's the minigun. Which one is it? Apparently the Xbox games run better on PS5 than a Series X. Yeah, I've 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 seen that. That is that's <laughs> I don't know what the what the word is for it or what the phrase is, but that's just that's wild to me that they're making the games run better. on the uh on the ps5 than than on the series x that just i don't know i don't know what that says about the hardware as a whole but diamond city surplus everything you need hey arturo if you're thinking safety a long range rifle all right sure. let's barter let's take a look self-defense at its best What I really want to get is a hunting rifle, I think. I might end up picking this one up. Glow-sided light hunting rifle. Short hunting rifle. It's 168. What is the glow sided? It's 210. That's a value. I've been tired. I've been tired. A problem. My 5 terabyte HDD is not. Oh, no. Oh, that's always the worst. I've had to replace stuff like that before and. Redownloading everything to it is a is a is a real pain. It takes a long time, depending on your internet. I would say if you have the opportunity, um, I would hook your Xbox up if you're going to redownload things with a wire, because it'll download a lot quicker than it would over Wi-Fi. Weapons, short hunting rifle. Got some great stuff if you're interested. Sure, let's take a look. Everything. <laughs> long time. How you holding up? Nick. Oh, hey. Yeah, we're doing all right. It's hard without Gwen, but it gets easier every day. Yeah, that's we real good to We can talk about guns, hear. or maybe you want well, to consider something more up close and personal. Check in. You ever need anything, you stop by the office. Sure, you got it. Yes. Thanks, Super Salon can give you the hairstyle All right, let's go ahead and talk to Piper. Dream. your home read the public to find out i think ms is trying to kill xbox but isn't trying to make it obvious to make people move to pc that they would have an excuse to well, discontinue well, xbox similar to how the ea delisted uh tf1 i mean so i don't know about that what the rumors are that they're actually here in that analogy so, They're actually working on the next hardware, which to me is just a little wild. Where do you want me to start? Like, I can't believe they're already designing and going to release, supposedly in a couple of years, another the Xbox console. Rumors are it's the handheld, which would be wild. I would probably buy it just because having Halo on the go is something that... Where the institute it's something I would is. definitely be a fan of. Get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? 
The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. He's dead. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to go quietly the moment I saw him. So, um... I will never go PC. His brain's blown out by an avenging parent. So. Uh... I'll never go to PC, so stop making consoles. I don't have any gaming have anymore. I mean, even if they did decide to stop putting out game consoles, there's so many games for consoles that exist now. We would all have enough to play until we couldn't see anymore. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old suburb? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past. If anyone. All right. You're right, Nick. Let's see. Jesus, Nick. I know it's grit. Already have Actually, something. I think I already. Cybernetics, huh? Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all. I have to go to the memory. I don't know necessarily if I would say I would switch completely from gaming consoles to PC. Even if, like, let's say tomorrow Xbox and PlayStation were like, hey, we're going to put everything that we make on our consoles and we're going to put everything on, on the PS or on the, on the PC. I'll head there on my own. All right. The ease of use personally for myself when it comes to PC, um, isn't all that like, I, I'm not that great with computers. Let's just put it like that. I've been struggling for the last probably before I was streaming, uh, three or four hours just to set up, an original Xbox emulator. <laughs> so, I mean, consoles, just being able to put the game in and play will always, it'll always be something that, uh, that has, to, to me, has the edge over PC. I understand all the other um, benefits of PC gaming, but already got a handheld PC and I'm getting an eGPU that will uh, go to my full build when you have... Oh, nice. Nice. Like, recently, I've been playing on my iPhone the Delta emulator, which I know that uh, I know the Android users have had emulators since, like, 2008. But this Delta emulator for iOS is so simple to use. You literally install the emulator and then you just get the games downloaded to your phone through whatever means that you do. And then it just plays them. There's nothing really involved. Let's see, we're going up here. Yeah, hopefully, whatever this next gen update comes out for Fallout, it comes out earlier in the day. I have to work that Thursday, and honestly, I hope that it releases early enough that I'm able to, you know, download it and talk about it.
Main reason I'm going to PC is for back and pat. You can stick your current controller and don't want to have to change the controller's accessories with each generation. That seems a little a little reasonable. I'm gonna waste all my ammo coming through here again. Do a quick save. Haven't saved for a little while. I might pick up Starfield next month. Be my first exclusive Series X game. I personally like it. I know that there's a lot of contention around the game. But uh if he there there's a lot to get used to with Starfield. The menu system is a little weird. And um It'll it, it requires a bit of a learning curve with uh, curve with the UI. The user interface really isn't that great, but the shooting in the game I think is fun. Uh, I liked the story. I know that's debatable between a lot of people, but I I liked the story. I thought it was decent. Not gonna win any awards or anything, but all right. Jeez, where where is Nick? Why isn't Nick following me? But yeah, I, I really like the Fallout show too. That's why I think it's such a huge missed opportunity that they didn't have that they didn't have those older games uh, available for current consoles. It's just wild that that they didn't get those games out. It's very, of course, consumer friendly to make the Fallout 4 update free, but that's also something I think a lot of people would have paid for. Sack hood with a hose? No. No, no, no. If you like Fallout 4, you'll definitely like Starfield. Yes, yes. They messed up the lore. I love the show, but they messed up the lore. Uh, I don't know. I would have to watch some some like videos about the lore. But I remember there recently so one of them had uh, like uh like Todd 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 Howard had mentioned something in an interview about how. It fits in with the with the other like lore of the of the universe, and it seemed legitimate to me. Yeah, it seems that way, doesn't it? Probably shouldn't use stim packs like that. I do remember a Fallout Three remake being leaked when the digital Series X got leaked. Yeah, yeah, but. The fact that it's not ready for the show, it's like, how do you guys... How, uh, look at what happened with Cyberpunk. The anime on, came out on Netflix, and the game shot up in, in, in popularity. Granted, Fallout 4 and all, all of the Fallout titles have become way more popular than they have been over the last 10 years due to the show. But just imagine... Oh, jeez. Just imagine the impact on the franchise uh uh it would have been a huge plus for bethesda and brought them into more of a mainstream view excuse me for a second but Everything, they could have had a huge impact, a huge, um, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. They could have had a, basically a, a lot of, a lot more success if they would have had a product ready for before or after the show to be there with the show. And I, I guess that's what they're doing with, uh, with the Fallout 4 update, but. I don't know. It just seems like a, a very big missed opportunity, and it seems like that's something that happens a lot. I feel like you can measure the show's success by the amount of people that have then flocked to the to the games. And when you look at a show like Halo, like 
the, the, the player numbers were not made any better for infinite with the TV show. Shotgun shell. Nice. This is pretty much a lot of stuff that I needed. Let's put that over here. I went from looting in 76 to a few seconds, but ever since they updated it, it's running like it's on last gen. Ironically, 76 got updated to run at 4K 60 versus the 1080p 60 with FPS boost. Yeah, it did. Let's make our way down here nice and easy. I know there's super mutants around here. Oh. I think there should be a choice on how you run it. I think it needs quality or performance. The new update that's coming on Thursday is going to offer you, for Fallout 4 at least, a performance or quality mode. And it's interesting in the wording that they have for the update. It says that the game can run up to 60 FPS. Not that it does run at 60 that it can run up to. Oh, geez. What did I just do? I just kicked the hornet's nest. Let's hit a quick save. I know Halo Infinite got advertised to run up to 30 FPS on Series S. Oh, really? Well, let's hope that the performance mode then gets a good uh, boost for the frame rate. The one thing that I've noticed when playing this, because this is uh, this is on the uh, FPS boost program, even though the game runs at 60, or it appears to run at 60, the inputs are still set for a game at 30, so the game feels like a little sluggish. 10 millimeter auto pistol plus, let's take that anyway. And we'll take the outfit, why not? But yeah, the game... The game feels like to me like it runs a little little sluggish. Mass fusion building. Nope. There's also ma uh, mods that uncap the FPS on Series X at 4K. Are you talking about for Fallout 4? Because I've looked for the 60 FPS uh, cap to be removed. I look for that mod a lot, and I could not find it.
All right, well, let's let's put in a save. I will also hit a quick save. We'll go inside here real quick. Yeah, I've I looked Death Trooper. I did. I I spent a quite a good amount of time looking through, trying to find. Oh, I'm detected. And I could not, I could not find one of those mods for the frame rate. They have it for Skyrim. They even have it for uh, 120 hertz, uh, you know, FPS. But I could, I could not find the FPS for uh, for Fallout. Wow. I'm just going to die when I come out here. There are two mods. I think it's 720p60. Digital Foundry tested it at 4K and removed the aliasing. For some reason, it uncaps the frame rate. Huh. Jeez. All right. Well, Let's see. I don't I don't have the alerts set up, uh, but I've noticed a couple of subs pop in here on the channel. Thank you, I appreciate any any new subscriptions, likes, shares, you know, all that all that stuff really helps out the channel. And it also tells YouTube that uh, that the video is good. <laughs> so then YouTube then promotes it a little bit more. I don't generally take time out of streams to do any advertising or um, self-promotion. But yeah, if you guys have been watching, please give the video a thumbs up. It helps out a lot. Reminds me, did I get a weapon? 10 millimeter pistol. White Pistol Institute minigun. Short hunting rifle. I thought it was favorited, but I guess it was not. Let's level up. That anti aliasing mode causes delay the audio when you use it. Hmm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Oh, back you off. Back off, or you're the one who's going to need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets. What? Accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accident. Whoa, 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 time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. 
Hancock. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh, shh. Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Yikes. Hard over here. You all right, sister? Y yeah, I'm all right. You killed him. Got a good pair of eyes on you. I think you'll fit in here. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Yowzer. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that we come in peace, Malarkey. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. I've got a few minutes to browse. Murder and mayhem at a dis. The short hunting rifle takes 308 ammo. 308 ammo here. All right. Kellogg's pistol takes 44. 44 ammo? Doesn't look like it. Shotgun shells, though. Kind of need those. How many can I get? Or 97. 10. All right, well, we'll take that too. I'm sure I probably don't need to buy ammo, but I keep finding myself at a loss for ammo. Short hunting rifles there. There's the short bow shotgun can go over here. Short pipe rifle, I guess can go at the end. What do we have on here though? Whoa. 10 millimeter Kellogg's pistol, short pipe pistol. I have a lot of ammo for this thing. Hunting rifle, now I've got enough. Shotgun shells. Of course, Fat Man Nuke, I've got one. Use that a little sparingly. Um, I guess we'll lead with this. All right. I think Nick Valentine came down this way. Ever been to kill or be killed? Some fine looking weapons. Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good neighbors. All I'm saying. 
Now, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time, but a flying ship? <laughs> Yowza! Yeah? All right, then. Never mind, I guess we'll uh, head into the quest marker. I'm sure Nick is in here, too. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the Lomi. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Ooh. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Walk up a step. What's going here on here? Amari, she's downstairs. Hey, Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. <coughs> Just don't let the big metal softy hurt itself. All right? All right. Oh, this is the part with the invisible wall? Okay. Quick save. Dr. Amari? Yes? I take it this isn't a social call. <laughs> Gotta love the voice acting here. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari. But it's not gonna be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. You're useless. <laughs> Isn't there some way to make this work? This dead Whoa. Brain has inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. Uh, that's a great camera so angle. We. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I don't know what's Most happening here. <laughs> from what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar... Sure. All right. Is it... Go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But mm -hmm. that's... Uh -huh. Don't worry about me, Amari. Uh -huh. Don't mess this up. Just don't damage that brain, you two. I need it. Trust me. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Oh, I hope this isn't what I think it is. This might be the worst part of the game, if I'm remembering right. Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. All right, so... Tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valen. He'll act as a host. Let's do it. All right. Just sit down over there. See you on the other side. Yes. 
initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We are going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. It's really bright. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Am I invisible? There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. No, this isn't what I was thinking it was. Why am I invisible? Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. That cost her more than a few beatings. Am I supposed to be invisible here? I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to. Dad was either drunk... Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but... I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is, is, you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. That's deep. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, let's keep looking. She'd have stayed in I'll the I'll connect hub, you to the next maybe intact hooked up memory. with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? What gun is that? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died I found like another dogs. Memory to try. I and connect. you weren't there to help them. Oh, here we go. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. Oh, the assault rifle, okay. So, um, I hear. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. 
just skip through all this stuff. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. What doesn't have a jaw? B-748, initiate. Systems offline. Dude. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. The vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Oh jeez, that's not me. That is... This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it Almost. Okay? Everything's going to be fine. Okay? Come here. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller. Even <laughs> if she somehow got thawed out. <coughs> Excuse me. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. What about this one? I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. Oh. I guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. God, let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you son! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. All right, let's make our way on to the last memory here, I think. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. 
I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'll be back to normal business before nope, too long. No, no walls. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. All right, so now what? Kellogg, it's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's Virgil! The glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. I guess this is what happens when you set the Xbox asleep for a year. Elimination. He was working I tried to program. sign in. No kidding. They said that my account has the perfect cleaner rating. Oh, nice. Yeah, you might have to. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. They got teleported in. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Let's go. Oh, TV. Well, we've not run the Xbox. Will you? It's used the computer. Slow movements, okay? All right. Kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Feel fine. I'm okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. Right. Are you ready to talk? You were along for the ride, weren't you? You saw what I saw. Yes, but it's important we re. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. Where did the memory say he was? The it's a central scene. family Microsoft account that's connected, right. and we no know... No one would risk going there, not even to hide. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that would keep your account active. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. I'll find, find a way. Find a way to get through the Reds. Don't worry. Good luck, and be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. All right, well, let's go upstairs. All right, Nick. 
Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. <gasps> Whoa. Kellogg. Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You, um... You feeling all right, Nick? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari. Anyway, I feel fine. Let's take him. Let's get going, Nick. It's been one heck of a ride so far. Well, guys, I am going to go ahead and hop off. Most of my streams are usually about an hour and a half to two hours. I appreciate everybody jumping in. Um, I think feel like we had a good discussion here talking about Bethesda, Fallout, and the TV show and everything. Uh, I do stream twice a week, Sunday at 5 and Wednesdays at 5 p.m., uh, sometimes the streams get pushed back by just a little bit like they did today. Um, and I ended up starting around closer to six, but, uh, either way, the streams are about two hours long. I appreciate everybody jumping in. I will be back on Wednesday right before the update goes live. Uh, I will put a poll out to see out of the fallout games that I have available. Um, again, which ones would you guys like to see me play here? Uh, we did just do a vanilla playthrough here. Uh, no mods or anything like that. Um, so maybe the next one uh, will showcase specific mods. I, I don't know yet. But nonetheless, uh, thank you all for joining me here, whether you're live or on demand. If you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. And again, uh, thumbs up on the video always helps out, and they're always appreciated. But until next time, everyone, thank you for joining me here, and we'll uh, see you guys on the next stream.